Hello everyone, SB Architects here. Today we are going to create an interesting modern building in ArchiCAD. Before beginning the tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's going to help this channel to growing up and I suggest you to subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials like this. Alright, let's start. At the very first, I would like to change some settings which is working units at first. Let's go to options menu, project preferences, working units is going to be centimeter. Let's click that and click OK. My second step will be changing 3D visualization settings. Let's right click the 3D from the 3D styles. I'm going to select white model with shadows. And for the override, I'm going to click that, click new, type something new. Let's click OK. And from here, I'm going to click new. Let's click OK. And for the this one, line line marker text span is going to be one all types. Let's click OK. And add our new rule. Let's click OK. There we go. And now we switch to 3D window. Let's code it. And from the generic perspective view. I'm going to change the sunlight to 50. Why we are going to do this? Because I want to make this simple and I want to focus on the designing and not waste the time for the material settings. If you are okay with the main design, you can turn back to the original settings and begin to changing your materials. Okay, let's go to the floor plan and I'm going to start building with a slab tool. Let's change the structure type to simple and for the thickness will be 50 centimeters. It's going to base for the building and for the construction method rotate rectangular is okay. Now this direction will be 5 meters and this direction will be maybe 15 meters. Something like this. And we are going to create wall around this. Let's create the wall tool and change the structure type to simple you can change the wall thickness to 25 it's up to you let's hit the space bar to activate the magic wand tool and click if we go to the 3d window we will see something like this as you can see we have a white model and we have shadows but we have changed the shadow strength from this generic perspective view settings with this sunlight settings I think it looks very nice. You can decide which way do you want to go with. Now, once we have this, I'm going to duplicate the floor to its original position. And from the home story, I'll make this story one. And if we go to the floor plan, now we can add windows. For the windows, let's click the window tool here. And go to the settings. For the side windows, I want to use storefronts. Let's click it and storefront windows basic one. I like to use this storefront because we can divide this very easily with this A and B settings. Now we click OK. And in the middle of the wall, we will see a line if we just hover over that. I'm gonna click that point and decide the direction. After that, I will change the width of the window. We can make this maybe 12 meter. Let's go to 3D window. And let's change the till to story to zero. Now it makes sense. And from this point, we can decide the height of the window and mesh with this point. By the way, we can increase the size. I'll make this 13. Now this looks fine. And now we are going to divide this. Let's hit Ctrl plus T. For the B, I want to try 3. And for the A, I want to try 4. Click OK. And we will see something like this. OK. 
it's up to me so this is fine we can duplicate this window from 3d window or in the floor plan if you want to use 3d window you will alt click the original window and window of placement will be activated and we will click the second wall in order to create the new one just right into the middle this point all right let's create some entrance let's click the door and go to settings we will decide a door here we can use this and change its settings maybe style 1 and change the handle to fix handle 2 we can see a preview here it looks elegant so let's click ok and place on the wall there you go let's get crazy let's click the side walls or on the one side I'm gonna click left and from the wall slant angle let's click the slanted wall for the slope I'm gonna input here 70 after that I will stretch the top part to our new offset points and now as you can see our cat changed the edge of the slab which is very nice I'm gonna leave this one as is for this front part I'm going to place a new window but it's going to be a triangle window therefore we are going to use curtain wall but unfortunately curtain walls doesn't cut the wall by itself so we need to create an opening for the walls for the opening I'm going to use new opening tool let's click that and change the type to polygonal I'm gonna start from the face and follow this to the top to the corner to the left bottom and I'm gonna finish the sketch from here there we go now we can create a curtain wall inside so let's click the curtain wall for the geometry method we are going to use this boundary plane input method will be this triangle shape with this shape we can decide which work plane we want to use so once we have clicked this we are going to click this surface and we will see this construction grid with this construction grid our newly created curtain wall will be placed on this grid so we can start to clicking corners one by one There we go. Now we can change the curtain wall settings. To do that, let's just click the curtain wall tool and hit Ctrl plus T. And for the width, I want to only use this one. So let's click the B and click minus. We can leave the rest as is. But for the panels, I want to turn them to main panel. And for the frames, I want to change the width for instance this boundary will be 5 to 15 Malian frame 5 to 15 and transom let's click ok for further improvements we can click edit right click the scheme and we can change the grid parts for instance I will move this to here and also this part after that I'm going to right click the frame and delete this part and delete this frame too and those click exit edit mode now this is ready to use if you see something like this you can change the rotation of the curtain wall in the settings we are going to click this inside boundary 
just like that. Now it was fixed. For the door offsets, it's going to start from zero and finish from the top. And the width will be 170. And I'm gonna change the purple point position. But I cannot make it from here, so in the settings, at the first page, or second, yeah, this one, I'm gonna make this 80 and it will lead 1 meter to main panel. Let's click OK. By the way, we can turn off the frames for the entrance door. Let's go to the casing outside and uncheck and inside. A small tip for you, if you change the reveal to wall face to 5, it's going to change the depth of the door and it will be looked more prominent and elegant. For the final part, we are going to shell tool. Let's click the shell tool and change the structure type to simple. Let's change the thickness to 10. Geometry methods will be extruded and construction method will be detailed and we will click corners. Once we have closed the shape, you can decide extrusion length. Once we created first shape, we can increase the depth through the building. By clicking the shell and clicking dead points, we will see an opening window and we will see this edit extrusion length. If we click that, we can change the extrusion depth. You can click the shell boundary and you can edit according to your design. For this example, I am going to change this corner with this move node to this direction. Maybe, I don't know, 1 meters. There we go. It's gonna be look alright. Once we've done that, we are going to duplicate a couple of more times. You can do this from floor plan tool. The number is not important for now. We are going to decide it later. At the first, I want to create some openings from the top view. So let's click the shell. Right click, click create hole in shell. I'm gonna make this triangle. I want this corner be inside of the shell, so I'm going to click the edge and fix this point. Something like this. And I want this to be a triangle. Right click the floor plan, create hole in shell. First opening and second opening. This part is going to be a bigger triangle. Therefore, I'm going to change the extrusion length and create an opening for this size. Something like this. If you have bored of doing this, you can just copy previous ones. And you can play around with their settings. Maybe it's going to be finished as a flat. Alright, now let's switch to East Elevation. Click the Open with Current View settings. Luckily, in the elevations, we can create openings on the shell. Let's start for the first one. Click create hole in shell. Let's try to cut this with this angle.
and continue to creating your design. Alright, I think this is enough for this sign. You can continue for yours. For more improvements for the Passat, you can use Morph tool and you can click the rectangle and maybe we can make something like this. And we can give this a thickness, maybe 30 centimeters or 20 centimeters will be enough. Just like that. We can make the same for this part, but I'm gonna use this simple line. Once we have created a simple plane, we can click the face and we can click the push pull and we can give it a thickness. Since our slopes were the same, we can duplicate this part along to other shell parts. There we go. I think we are done. This is how you can create a simple design with ArchiCAD. If you liked the video, please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe if you want to download this project file. You can just download this from my Patreon page. You can find more tutorials and project files there. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.